Welcome back to the channel and let's make this trailing on, shall we? So we're gonna be making the trailing horn today. So as I mentioned on the previous video, finally got got my pieces laser cut after a month and a half. I know I gotta switch places, but uh, it is what it is. So now that I got these parts, I'm able to put that on the jig and start building the uh, trailing horn. I was making some of these out of cardboard, so I know more or less uh, what metals I need and how to cut them and all that. And then I can use that as a stem as template once I'm ready. So yeah, let's start. So as you can see right here, I got my hand joint held in place on the jig. I got my plate. So next I gotta run the tube from there to there. So it's gonna come out of here and then turn down into this spot. And then from that, I'm gonna build the rest of the uh, brackets. So what you just saw me do right there is cut the two for the turning on. So this is what it looks like. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and weld that up in place on both sides at the ham, at the ham joint and at the uh, bracket. So I have them. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I also cleaned it up on the machine before I bent the tube. It's a lot easier to do it that way, otherwise I'm gonna be fighting that turn with the sandpaper for hours. So that is step number one. So next up, I gotta start welding all the uh, surrounding. This is a rounding uh, area of metal right here where the uh, tabs are gonna come off from. Those three. Also, so those are the three mounting points of all the links under the car. All right, these links right here. So you got the uh, conveyor, conveyor arm, you got the uh, lower control arm, and just the upper link. So that was, okay, let me get over here, better lighting. So that's pretty much the gist of it. So I don't have material in here, so I'm gonna have to wait for that. All right, so I made some paper brackets for this thing. Uh, some cardboard brackets really so now that I got them pretty much sitting where I need them I can go ahead and cut them out of metal all right so I got my two plates cut right here all right, so what's next it is to start bending them right i gotta get them into place and start doing these bends right here one there one there so it needs to match that contour of that So this is where I left off. So I'm gonna go ahead now and start welding this up. And then <clears throat> this over here, still not sure what I'm gonna do about this. Um, I don't know if to just enclose it or I'll just do the top or the bottom. I don't know. I guess. I guess I'll see what looks best once I start welding everything up and uh, we'll go from there. guys so I decided to completely weld the front of the plate I'm 
and this is what it's looking like so it just looks like a big spoon pretty much so I'll probably add some more reinforcement right here probably triangulate this corner a little bit and then start working on the uh, brackets that come out to catch these mounting points so that's what I'll do next actually I'll probably do that tomorrow it's pretty late it is 10 p.m. on a Friday so I'm pretty tired I think this is my color for tonight Keep going tomorrow guys so I just went ahead and welded my first set of brackets for the arms so it's one two three and now I'm letting it cool off so I can add the second side to the tab which one goes there another one behind it and uh, another one right here right but it's really hot right now so I'm letting it cool off and let the metal shrink back to its, uh, to its place essentially uh, if you undo the bolts right as it's hot right now it will tend to move a lot so I'm just gonna leave it like how it is right now until it's all nice and cool and then work on the rest of the bracket looking like something right I'm pretty excited about this it's looking so good so I just threw the uh, brake caliper in there and the hub just you know just for fun just to see what it's looking like so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna add some extra reinforcement here going in the back over here and this one right there just just to give it some extra strength you know just in case uh all right guys so i'm gonna call it a video here um so on the next one you're gonna see me finish up this so like i said before i just gotta just gotta add some extra reinforcement to those corners and then i want to do little uh tabs here for the uh, speed sensor cable and then I gotta mount this guy uh, somewhere there like that so all that's gonna happen on the next video so stay tuned